and CRT solutions chapter number four quadratic equations exercise 4.3 question number seven the problem is the difference of squares of two numbers is 180 the square of the smaller number is eight times the larger number find the two numbers so let's go to solution we can start from let smaller number equal to x and let larger number equal to y so it's given to us that the difference of squares of these two numbers is 180 so we can write y square minus x square is equal to 180 it's given to us and y should be in the front because it's larger and the second condition is the square of the smaller number square of smaller number is x square is equal to 8 times the larger number this is the second equation let's suppose this is 1 and this is 2 now we can put the value of x square in equation number 1 so we, we write putting equation number 2 in 1 we will get y square minus 8y is equal to 180 so now taking this 180 to the left hand side we will get y square minus 8y minus 180 equal to 0 here now we want to solve this quadratic equation let's suppose that we want to solve this equation by applying quadratic formula so we will compare it with the general form of quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 we get a equal to 1 when we compare both of these equations b equal to minus 8 and c equal to minus 180 quadratic formula is x equal to we won't write x here sorry we will write y here because we are having equation here in the form of y so we will write y equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a equal to minus p minus p is minus minus 8 plus minus square root of minus 8 square it's b square here minus 4 is c minus 4 times a is 1 times c c is minus 180 divided by 2a 2 times 1 a is 1 so we get here minus minus 8 is plus 8 plus minus square root of 64 minus 8 square is 64 and 180 times 4 it's 720 divided by 2 here equal to 8 plus minus square root of 64 plus 720 it is 784 divided by 2 here and we get here 8 plus minus 28 divided by 2 square root of 784 is 28 so we have here y equal to 8 plus 28 divided by 2 and 8 minus 28 divided by 2 so from here we consider plus sign in first case and negative sign in the second case so value of y would be 8 plus 28 is 36 divided by 2 and minus 20 divided by 2 it's equal to 18 minus 10 so value of y is 18 and minus 10 using this value of y we can find the value of x and we have equation at the top x square is equal to 8y which is equation number second so we will put value of y in equation number 2 which is x square is equal to 8y let's put 18 first now we can factorize these 8 is 2 times 2 times 2 and 18 is 2 times 3 times 3 so x is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 plus minus equal to plus minus 12 so value of x is equal to plus minus 12 here when we put y equal to 18 now if we put y equal to minus 10 which is the other value of y we get x square equal to 8y equal to 8 times 
minus 10 is equal to minus 80. But we know that the square root of negative term is not defined, of any ne negative number is not defined. So we write here no real value of x. So when we have y is equal to minus 10, x does not exist. So we will discard this case completely. So what are the values we get from here? That would be the only solution. So when we have y equal to 18, we have x equal to 12, or we have, when we have y equal to 18, we have x equal to minus 12, because we got value of x plus minus 12. So we can write this, the uh, solution set smaller number is equal to 12 and larger number is equal to 18 or we can say smaller number is equal to, is equal to minus 12 and larger number is equal to 18 so solution is 12 18 and minus 12 18 so in the next problem we will cover question number 8 chapter 4 quadratic equations exercise 4.3 see you guys